Hey, I'm Rose Musen and I'm what people call a creative person. I'm currently trying to build a career and find my inner voice. Some days it's really fun and other days not so fun. But it's all a journey and I'm here to share it with you. Hello my blooming souls. Um, we have now entered 2022 and I am as always, super excited and super nervous at the same time. I am right now feeling pretty good. I had a very relaxing New Year's Eve, which is what I wanted. I am now 23 and has been that for around a day. Feeling old as always, I guess that's... I'm gonna feel like an old person no matter what age I am. Even though I do like to think it's also important to just celebrate that you actually survive for one more year. Anyway, <laughs> so as mentioned in my review for 2022, my biggest goal for this year is to slow down. And I, I could definitely feel this when I open TikTok and watch videos, as I do once in a while, you know. <laughs> and I saw this video with this girl talking about like, I'm gonna dream big this year, I'm gonna hope for 1 million uh, subscribers on YouTube and I'm going to hope for this Marlboro and this um, what's the word um, anyway I want this and this and this and big 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 goals and I was just feeling like whoa 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 I mean good for you but I am feeling overwhelmed um, she definitely was the past me who wanted to do stuff like that as well but I guess at this point, I'm just so tired of being stressed out because I want to feel that I have accomplished something. I guess I just found out I'm not the person who, who is working like that. I want to be this wild, wild, wild <laughs> this wise old woman who just sits in peace and can walk on the street, being chill and not being affected by all this silent talk about how we should accomplish worldwide things and get super famous and all of that. I think, I think you know what I'm talking about. That I just, I'm, I'm checking out. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and it does feel pretty nice to think that I don't have to do all of this. Even though I know my, my year is definitely going to be chaotic anyway because I need to start internship, finish my school, get a job and all of that. And you know, how can you go through that without a little panic? I don't think that's possible. But anyway, <laughs> at the same time, when I realized that 2022 is now a thing and I actually need to fulfill my goals, I kind of panicked. Even though you know my goal is to slow down, it's a bit of a pressure because I still know it's it 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 means I need to change. I I know this is something I am finding difficult because you know there's a reason why we keep going back in the old tracks and find ourselves trying to please others instead of ourselves. Uh, because pleasing ourselves can be pretty hard. So even though it might seem easy to slow down, I I do know that it's also going to be a challenge because it's just not my normal nature to slow down and don't think that I, I need to be loved by others in order to feel good enough. <laughs> I can actually just love myself. <sighs> can you believe that's a thing? Even when that is said, I am very excited and it feels right for me. Again, when I saw these very lovely women, men, people, whatever you want to call, your, call yourself, have big goals. And if you want to run out there and do a lot of crazy stuff, go do that. I'm just, this year is going to be as relaxing as possible for me because I'm done running, at least for now. Actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't know if this is going to be a bit of an opposite of what I just said because I also have all these challenges, ch challenges for myself which um, is about trying a lot of new stuff um, but it's mainly still focusing on loving myself and relaxing and finding out how I can have a good time. 
So I hope you can see how that makes sense. And I'm talking about this because uh, one of my goals to try out this year was to journal each and every day. And I personally like to journal in the evening because that's just when I have a lot of thoughts and it's really nice to get them out. Um, so let's talk about the first exercise of this year. I did get this uh, book from Kerry, which was just an amazing timing because it is meant for journaling each and every day or at least whenever you want to and you can then show uh, or write down the date you decided to write something in it. And there is no specific topic which I really like. I just want to write down whatever I want to. Maybe uh, I found some other topics would be nice in the future, but right now this is perfect for me. And I did, I don't know if you can say cheat, because what I did was just starting in 2021 when I had my Christmas break. So I have been doing this for is it almost a week actually i have been doing this for a week now uh, i didn't know that <laughs> but i would say i have very surprisingly for me i i have had a lot of like i have found treasures so fast and what what, what i'm trying to say with that is i'm writing down things and i just there's just some things that I get to explain that I didn't know before. I wasn't able to see before I decided to write it down. So let me give you some examples. Uh, so I think already the day number one, the first day I did this, um, I was writing down about how I, in my very hard times in school, when I was like really low, um, I was talking about the situation with people, how I didn't fit in, I didn't want to drink, uh, I just wanted to love myself and why didn't I match it? And people's response would be like, oh, you're so strong, you're so cool, keep doing you. And for some reason it really annoyed me, like uh, it just made me want to cry. And in, by writing this down, for I have been wondering about this for many years by writing this down I suddenly realized that the reason why it annoys me is because the whole reason I was talking about this was because I I was actually trying to communicate I'm having a hard time and I need help and like I want friends but all I got was like yeah you're good to go keep going when I was like no I'm not good please somebody help me why is everybody telling me I'm strong if this is the situation, I don't want to be strong. I just want friends and I want to feel loved by others. And right now, nobody likes me. So that was crazy to realize that all those years talking about my story, I actually asked for help. It's crazy how things can be in disguise, right? Uh, let's see, what did I discover for day number two? Oh yes, this was a deep one. Um, so day number two, I actually found this quote because I was working on February in my bullet journal, which I wanted to be focusing on self-love. And I found this quote saying like, in today's what rush, we are um, thinking too much. We wish for too much and <clears throat> we kind of forget the joy of just existing. And I just, I just love that. That was not the real quote. It was very sloppy, not at all what it's actually saying but i think you get the point uh what i got from this quote was just like how i i dream for so many things i there's so many things i still want to obtain again that's why it's kind of hard to slow down even though i know i need it at this point i i just i realized that in the end even though i want to obtain a lot my biggest goal would actually be to, again, slow down and just actually enjoy just existing. Because it actually feels pretty nice, for me at least, when I think about I don't have to own a lot of stuff, everything doesn't have to be in order. Like, life is already super amazing and fascinating if you just think about you having the opportunity right now to exist. And I just love that. So 
I just really want this mindset of just enjoying existing through this year. So that was the discovery for that day. Um, is there anything very interesting I need to share? Let me just check. Oh, by the way, an important note is I'm not writing very pretty in any way in this book. It's just really like I'm thinking, you know, we think faster than we can write. So I'm basically just trying to follow along on my very fast brain. And it really just ends up like very, very uh, confusing scribbles. Um, and that's why it might take me some time to actually figure out what I wrote down and see if there's anything good I can share with you. On this page, I realized um, I really want to focus more on my health and being able to make more healthy recipes because the case right now is I don't know a lot of healthy recipes that I think I would like. So that I've realized is something I really want to like. It's getting really important for me at this point. So I need to take that seriously. Oh, and then again, the pressure of wanting to do a lot of stuff in 2022. I again realized in the end, what I really wish for is to just be kind to myself and enjoy the journey. Like we can do all these things and suddenly, you know, the year's over and you think, did I even enjoy the ride? Um, so definitely want to enjoy the ride. Feel like I actually lived in the present through 2022. And then I realized, you know, even though I'm having these thoughts, I'm taking this decision. It can be pretty hard to think or actually not think about what other people think. So for example, I had a very relaxing New Year's Eve and I just had this thought like, am I doing something wrong? Is this wrong? Are you allowed to just relax on New Year's Eve? And I'm saying this because I have a lot of friends where you need to party, you need to do something wild and you need to like, you need to celebrate and smile all the time. So just relaxing, playing some board games, uh, play a game together, which me and my boyfriend did. It's like, I know I have made up my decision but I'm still keep wondering, is this okay? I know not all people will agree to this opinion. And can I stay strong in this new opinion anyway and feel like I still deserve love? So that's the whole thing I also realized. Um, oh, and uh, the last insight from this little exercise, um, I realized that I have actually been feeling uh, a lot more afraid and nervous than I normally am or actually what I'm trying to say is when I was a child and I think this is very normal like that's the thing of growing up you you need to suddenly give yourself the love you receive from your parents and your school teachers hopefully I hope some teacher decided to see the potential in you because otherwise I feel sorry for you because school is intense in its own so not having any teacher who believes in you man anyway the point is um, I I have been feel a lot more scared and insecure after trying to become an independent adult um, so this year other than slowing down and loving myself I hope I can create an environment in my own home and in my mindset that helps me feel more secure than I did through the past two years. And this is of course also triggered that I moved away from my parents two years ago. So that's a whole process in itself. Anyway, that was my experience uh, with journaling each and every day. And uh, I now need to rate it from one to five stars. And I definitely think I'm going to give this a five star. This was the right activity for me. Uh, please do remember this is a journey where I try to figure out what makes sense for me. So if you had tried it out and figured it out, it was not a thing for you, that's okay. Keep not doing that then. Um, but for me, I think it would be a really, really big help if I keep doing this because it's like, for me, this is like going to therapy. It helps me see things I for some reason was not able to see. 
So I already feel like a lot more wise old woman, <laughs> which I wish to become for some reason. Uh, so yeah, good for me. It's the first day of 2022. I, I can already check off one of the activities I wanted to do for this year. Not because I rushed it. I was actually just so excited. I couldn't wait uh, to the beginning of the year. And this is actually perfect because there is still a lot of pages left but my uh, mother and father-in-law just gave me this beautiful cover made out of tree um, and you got this very beautiful card with it uh, which is just your you know um, a cover for a notebook which you can then put in and I you know just journaling in this each and every day will just make the experience so much more special oh the camera just died um, but uh, that was basically it for this exercise number one. I'm still a bit unsure if I should just share the experience for each challenge and then just end it there because I've already been talking for quite a lot. So maybe I'm just going to try this out even though I'm used to having to include a lot of different stuff. So let me know if you think this was too short or too boring. Should I include me drawing stuff? By the way, uh, I still haven't dealt with my whole printer not working situation. So again, that's one of the things I need to actually do something about soon. Uh, yeah. So I cannot make any products yet. That's what the point was with all of that talk. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know something you want me to include in this video is like if I make drawings or I don't know I'm up for everything you think could be cool maybe I mean I still need to think it's a good idea myself but please don't make that stop you if you think you have something that could be cool I apologize to all of you who are very interested in my studio vlogs of course I wish that I will be able to keep doing them this year. But right now, the truth is I have decided to slow down and focus on myself. And it's definitely going to be a very interesting journey. Don't, don't even question that. I know this is going to be such a wild year, but it might not always be because I'm creating cute stuff, even though that's the only thing I sometimes want to do. Oh my god, I just saw my little Mr. Duck like peeking through my shoulder. He's so adorable. Maybe just to give you an idea of what I'm hoping to do or what you can expect from me from this year. Um, again, I'm going to start on an internship. I'm going to find a job where I can earn money. I have just planned with my friend Carrie to help me buy a budget binder so I can in a very fun way just sort out how I'm saving up for stuff which I'm very excited to do because I can do that in the summer when I can I've got this full-time job when it comes to the creative stuff I hope to try out crocheting and embroidery and playing games and I really want to make like Mr. Dog just in a little plushy version and of course just make cute art still because that's still who I am. That's never gonna change. And I also want to learn TikTok dances and I want to learn different hairstyles and I want to learn how to cook healthy. Like there are so many things which I'm going to try to do in a slow way. <laughs> I don't know, can this, is this even make sense? Am I laying myself up to failure? I don't know, but again, the person I am, I just need to try. But yeah, I don't know if that actually helped you in any way understanding if you want to keep watching my journey, um, but I give it a try. And that's what I always do. I always give it a try and hope that it makes sense in some way because I think most of us are just feeling very confused and just trying our best and hope it goes well for some reason. So even though I know I like to talk and especially when I'm talking to somebody that I like, yes, I'm talking about you, um, I didn't think I was only going to show one activity in each video, but as it is going right now, 
It seems like I'm just going to include each exercise in their own videos. Also to help myself, you know, be more frequently on YouTube without burning out. But I think I need to stop now because I'm definitely in the danger zone of rambling because I just, I just want you to stay. I just, I just love going on adventure with other people than just myself. I mean, all the power to the people out there who travel the world alone. It looks amazing, but it's not me. I want company. So if anybody's ready to join me on this adventure through 2022, you're more than welcome. Okay, with that said, I hope you're all staying loving and caring. My pen dust just dropped. Anyway, uh, you can support this channel for free by subscribing, liking and leave a comment. I would love to hear if you have any hopes for 2022. And you are, of course, welcome to try the same challenges that I'm giving myself. Oh, right. I totally forgot to uh, ask you in the beginning if you actually like my new intro. I really just think it shows what you can expect from my videos in 2022. Uh, even so, I still love a good dance party, so the ending is luckily not going to change. I mean, it's only luckily if you actually like it. If you don't, I'm sorry, because again, it's going to stay. So, um, yeah, it's now time for me to actually stop talking and start the dance party.